The doctrine of global nuclear war, which was adhered to by the leading world powers in the 60s, provided that after a sudden attack by the enemy using nuclear weapons, a preventative strike of retaliation would certainly follow. After a comprehensive analysis, American military experts came to the conclusion that nuclear missile submarines have the greatest chance of delivering a strike. However, the rapid development of anti-submarine weapons and underwater detection systems led to the fact that SSBNs of the first and second generations were rapidly losing their main advantage, stealth. And when designing a new submarine missile carrier, the American designers were given the task of not only drastically increasing the offensive power of the ship, but also significantly reducing its physical fields. And above all, reducing noise. The latter requirement largely determined the technical characteristics and architecture of the Ohio-class submarine. Ohio-class nuclear missile submarines formed the backbone of the U.S. strategic nuclear forces. These ships have become the most destructive means of warfare in the history of human society. The first submarine was built in 1976. Seventeen more such submarines were built after. The strong body of the submarine is made of NU-100 steel. It's divided into four compartments, a four-deck control and accommodation compartment, rocket reactor and turbine. The length of the boat is 170 meters. The width is 12.5 meters. It can reach speeds of up to 25 knots. The crew of such a boat is 150 57 people. The cost of Ohio-class SSBN amounted to $1.3 to $1.5 billion. The main American trump card of the naval forces of nuclear deterrent is the intracontinental ballistic missile Trident. The modification of this Trident II missile, which is in service with the U.S. Navy, has a flight range, depending on the type of warhead, from 9,000 to 12,000 kilometers. Theoretically, an Ohio-class submarine can launch a nuclear missile attack on enemy territory directly from its base. To date, Ohio-class SSBNs hold the world record for the number of deployed missile silos, 24, and are rightly considered one of the most advanced in their class. The Ohio is equipped with a MK-98 fire control system, which allows all missiles to be put into a state of readiness for launch within 15 minutes. During pre-launch preparation, the system calculates firing data, programs it into the rocket, performs pre-launch checks, and monitors readiness for launch. The computer system included in the MK-98 during pre-launch preparation can simultaneously retarget all missiles. In our time, American nuclear submarines secretly patrol the dark corners of the undersea world, discreetly monitoring the movements of the enemy, maintaining a constant threat of nuclear destruction against anyone who's ready to launch a catastrophic first strike on U.S. soil. But if Ohio-class boats used to patrol the world's oceans, now they will be replaced by Columbia submarines. Submarine Shark The construction of the Sharks was a Soviet response to the Americans' Ohio-class submarines, also in 1976. There are six such boats in total. It was assumed that the Sharks were supposed to surpass the Ohio in terms of the power of the combat volley. But the dimensions and weight of Soviet solid propellant missiles were noticeably higher than the American counterparts, so the Shark was originally supposed to have more impressive dimensions. The most popular submarine from this series is the TK-208, Dmitry Donskoy, the real record holder among all others presented in the world. This is an underwater vessel that takes the place of the leader in terms of the power of the weapons installed on board. In addition, it's the longest submarine cruiser, which has the largest displacement in the world. The length of the shark was 172 meters, and the width was 23 meters, and its height corresponded to a nine-story building. Given the huge size of the submarine, the world's largest covered slipway was built at Severmash for the construction of sharks. Autonomy of navigation six months with a crew of 160 people. The range of R-39 missiles was 8,300 kilometers. When approaching the target, the warhead of the rocket was divided into 10 warheads with individual guidance. The starting weight of each rocket was 90 tons, and the warhead yield in TNT equivalent was 100 kilotons. In January 2020, two submarines, TK-17 and a TK-20, are laid up in the city of Severodvinsk, waiting a determination of their future mission. 
Seawolf Submarine Seawolf-class boats are the most modern, but also the most expensive anti-submarine submarines in the world of the fourth generation of the U.S. Navy. The most important advantage of the Seawolf-type boat design is the exceptionally low noise level, even at high speeds. While most submarines are forced to navigate less than five knots to avoid detection by noise direction finding, Seawolf-class boats can remain confident that they cannot be detected and still reach a speed of 20 knots. While the dimensions of such a boat are 108 meters long and 12 meters wide, the full ammunition load of Seawolf-type boats is 50 torpedoes and missiles, an alternative alternative loading option is 100 mines, located in storage areas for both torpedoes and tomahawk-type cruise missiles. It's believed that in the future, boats can be equipped as carriers of uninhabited underwater vehicles with the possibility of their use and subsequent admission on board. According to official U.S. data, in the spring and summer of 2015, the SSN-21 Seawolf nuclear submarine conducted a six-month combat service in the Arctic with an ascent near the North Pole. The boat, having left the Kitsap Naval Base in Washington State, passed into the Arctic Ocean through the Bering Strait and was under the sea for more than two months. It's not been reported to have surfaced anywhere else besides the North Pole, and no incidents have been reported during the voyage. While the distance of the North Pole by 900 kilometers from the nearest Russian airbase, Nagurskoy, on the island of Alexandra Land in the Franz Josef Land archipelago, excludes reaching the pole by helicopters MI-8 type, the flight range of which in the most common modifications is about 600 kilometers. Boat Virginia Unlike traditional paddle propeller submarines, the Virginia classes use water jet propulsion, which greatly reduces the risk of cavitation and ensures quieter operation, originally developed for the Royal Navy's Swiftshore class submarines. The length of the boat is 115 meters, the width is 10.5 meters, the maximum diving depth is 488 meters. The Virginia class, also known as the SSN-774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered tomahawk Hawk cruise missile that flies at low altitudes and has a terrain following system. BGM 109 Tomahawk Block 4 is a modification of the Tomahawk cruise missile with innovative features, changing the target of the cruise missile during the flight and the ability to barrage, patrolling cyclic movement along a certain trajectory in the air before receiving an order to attack. Also in the arsenal of the nuclear submarine, there is also a small-sized missile harpoon capable of hitting targets at a distance of 90 to 220 kilometers, depending on the carrier. For example, the SLAM modification is capable of hitting a target at a distance of 280 kilometers. The U.S. Navy went all-in with the Virginia-class ships and signed a contract to buy five boats in bulk, followed by a multi-year contract for another five, with the ultimate goal of purchasing a total of 66 boats. Of this series, 19 submarines have been built, 11 more are under construction, and six more are planned. New SMX Ocean Submarine, an innovative non-nuclear multi-purpose submarine, promises to demonstrate performance. With an autonomy of up to three months, the SMX Ocean will be able to cross the Atlantic Ocean six times without resurfacing. The 100-meter submarine is equipped with the next-generation fuel cell propulsion system, and the overall layout of the SMX Ocean is similar to the French nuclear submarine Barracuda. There are 36 different types of weapons on board, including torpedoes, mines, anti-ship, cruise, and anti-aircraft missiles, as well as vertical launchers, which will launch cruise missiles at ground targets. The cruising speed of the submarine will be 14 knots, and underwater, it will be able to accelerate to 20 knots. It can also work alone or as part of an aircraft carrier group. It can deliver special forces, combat swimmers, uninhabited underwater vehicles, and even unmanned serial vehicles. SMX Ocean could become one of the largest non-nuclear submarines in the world.